Welcome to the Belated Tech Channel's 40th edition of the Tesla and SpaceX Redux. We are reviewing the milestones that occurred on each day in the week of June 21st through June 27th in the history of Tesla, SpaceX, Starlink, The Boring Company, and Elon Musk's other various business ventures. June 21st, 2017. Elon Musk tweeted on this date, quote, over 1,000 kilometers should be possible in a 100D with the right tires. This was in response to Tesla hypermiling enthusiast Stephen Peters and Jory Cools driving a Model S P100D 901.2 kilometers in 26 hours at 22 miles per hour on a 26 kilometer closed loop in Belgium. Hypermiling is the practice of driving vehicles as efficiently as possible in order to achieve the longest distance possible on one charge or tank of fuel. Since climate control was out of the question, the two braved a hot car to set the record. Their overall power consumption reached a record low 141.6 watt hours per mile. Musk said in 2015 that he expected hypermiling enthusiasts to eventually reach 600 miles or 965 kilometers on a single charge. But 1,000 kilometers? As of 2021, neither Peters and Cool's record or Musk's extended benchmark has been broken. June 22nd, 2017. Musk tweeted on this date, quote, Must remember that irony and social media are not friends. Keep forgetting. Damn it. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO was reacting to the fury that many of his humorous tweets brought to social media trolls in general and the Twitter Audi in specific. Musk hadn't seen anything yet. During the 2020 pandemic, which was also a US presidential election year, the social media frenzy reached a crescendo, egged on by corporate media and selectively censored by the corporations that controlled popular social media apps, rioting over police brutality, publicly delivered hyperbole driven by identitarianism and resurgent political socialism, millions of people petrified by the spread of COVID-19, and a populace sitting at home either unemployed or working remotely, drove more eyeballs to traditional and social media than ever. The result, with truth in short supply and few with a perceivable sense of humor. Hopefully Musk and the rest of us will see an improvement in 2021. June 23rd, 2017, the Bulgaria Sat-1 was lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 FT rocket, Booster 1029, from the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A on this date. The booster returned to a drone ship. It was the second time a booster was reused, as Booster 1029 had flown the Iridium mission in January of 2017. Bulgaria Sat-1 was the first commercial Bulgarian-owned communications satellite. June 24th, 2021, the Transporter 2 SmallSat rideshare was lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 B-5 rocket, Booster 1060, from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 40 near this date. The booster was scheduled to return to a drone ship. The rideshare launch was for a large cluster of assorted Earth observation satellites. Expected to launch are the Dutch Polar Vigilance 4-unit spy satellite constellation, an ExoLaunch YAM-3 satellite bus carrying 30 various spacecraft, Satellogic commercial spy satellites indirectly controlled by the CCP, the Capella-5 synthetic aperture radar satellite, the Hawkeye 360 cluster 3 RF spy satellites, and Spaceflight Industries geospatial intelligence satellites carried on a Sherpa satellite bus. June 25th, 2017, the Iridium Next 2 10 satellite cluster was lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 FT rocket, Booster 1036, from the Vandenberg Air Force Base's Launch Complex 4E on this date. The booster returned to a drone ship. It was the second Iridium Constellation launch of 10 satellites, and the first flight using titanium instead of aluminum grid fins on the booster to improve control authority and better cope with heat during re-entry. June 
June 26, 2018, Elon Musk tweeted near this date, quote, It is unknown whether we are the only civilization currently alive in the observable universe, but any chance that we are is added impetus for extending life beyond Earth. This is why we must preserve the light of consciousness by becoming a spacefaring civilization and extending life to other planets. Musk was responding to reports coming out concerning the findings of a study from the Future of Humanity Institute and Oxford University that outlined the likelihood that human civilization was the only advanced civilization in the observable universe. The SpaceX CEO had heretofore cited the likelihood of self-extermination through nuclear or biological holocaust if the human race was only on one planet as a reason for becoming an interplanetary species. Is it likely that humans are the only self-aware species in the total universe, or even the observable universe? It seems statistically improbable, but without evidence to the contrary, we'll take it as another good reason to obtain a little extra elbow room in our corner of the Milky Way galaxy. June 27th, 2018. Elon Musk was caught in a Twitter back and forth near this date with a potter, Tom Edwards, and Edwards' daughter, Lisa Prank, after Prank accused Tesla of stealing the artwork of Edwards, depicting a unicorn farting electricity on the side of a mug. Similar images appeared in Tesla in-car interfaces and promotional material after Musk tweeted a picture of Edwards' mug on February 4th, 2017. Tesla claimed the image they used was from artist Nick Jovanovic. Musk offered to remove the image if Edwards is so requested, although he responded that Prank's tweets were, quote, kind of lame, and that her father should be happy that, quote, this attention increased his mug sales. Edwards, for his part, told the UK newspaper The Guardian, quote, I'd really like to get on Elon Musk's good side. He's really, really interesting, but he isn't above copyright law. Edwards revealed a month later on his blog that he had reached an agreement with Tesla that, quote, resolves our issues in a way that everyone feels good about. It's clear there were some misunderstandings that led to this escalating, but I'm just glad that everything has been cleared up, and I'm looking forward to getting back to making pots and selling them in my online store. There was no word as to for what the agreement actually provided. Before we get to the current event of the week, we wanted to see if you enjoyed this 40th episode of Bladed Tech's Tesla and SpaceX Redux. If so, click that like button. Did you agree with our choices, or are there other events that were better? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. And if you have suggestions for an event in the future, we'll take those too. We'll credit events we pick for future videos to those viewers that post them. We hope you have been enjoying our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If yes, and you have not yet taken the opportunity to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe and subscribing is free. On June 10th, 2021, Tesla revealed the Model S Plaid in a broadcast delivery event. The Plaid features a new three motor powertrain that delivers a peak 1,020 horsepower allowing the sedan to sprint to 60 miles per hour from rest in less than two seconds, run a quarter mile in 9.23 seconds, and top out at 200 miles per hour. The company estimates the range at 390 miles and says with high-speed charging, approximately 187 miles can be added in 15 minutes. The sticker price of the Plaid is about $131,000. The Model S Plaid and the latest versions of the 1 and 2 motor Model S come with a yoke-style steering wheel. The steering wheel does not have any control stalks. All controls are either via buttons on the steering wheel itself or through the control screen. The main screen is now positioned horizontally, allowing you to enjoy watching programs while your car charges. Like the newer Model 3 and Model Y, the latest Model S cabin also features hidden vents set by climate controls in the main screen. The front seats have also been moved slightly forward in the cabin and the rear bench redesigned, leading to more head and leg room for passengers in the rear. Musk said at the reveal, quote, We're in production and gonna deliver the first 25 cars now. 
and then basically should be at several hundred cars per week soon at a thousand cars per week next quarter. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 250 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos in our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation Documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered on the Bladed Tech Gaming Channel in videos called Walkthroughs and Side Missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed and Minds page, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed and where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.